In this short video, I will show you how to install and configure RenPy. Open your favorite web browser and in your favorite search engine, just search for RenPy. Hopefully the first uh, result will be the RenPy.org, the official RenPy web page. Go to the download section and here in green, this is the RenPy distribution that we need to download. I have downloaded that already. And then if you scroll down and go into editor downloads, there will be a link to editor Visual Studio Code. Follow it and install the version for your operating system. Both of these files have been downloaded to my downloads directory. Here they are, one and the second one. And let's install it. The first one is Visual Studio Code. I accept the agreements and get that installed. And then the second one is RenPy. It's not really an installer. It will just extract the files. Your Microsoft is telling me that the file might be unsafe, but I will run it anyway. And they are just gonna be installed and extracted, sorry, instead of being installed system-wide into the downloads folder. Just click on extract. My Visual Studio code is ready. Let's just see if it runs okay. At the beginning, it lets me choose my team. I go with Dark Modern. Okay, it looks all right. Go back to the RenPy website. It also mentions under the editor RenPy language extension. Just click it. This is the extension to Visual Studio Code. Click on Install and then open with Visual Studio Code. That will let the editor understand the RenPy language. It will give us nice syntax highlight, for example. It's telling me that this version is deprecated, but there is a newer version. Let's go ahead and install the newer version. Okay, it's fine. Now, meanwhile, my RenPy has been extracted. So let's see, under downloads, I can see a new folder, RenPy 834. Let's go inside. And this is the executable to run. To make it a bit easier for me, I will right click it and drag it to my desktop and create a shortcut here. Let's try to run RenPy. Let's see sample project, for example, the question and click on launch project just to see if it runs okay. Start, yep, looks all right. Let's configure RenPy. There are two things we need to do. One of them, if you go into preferences, is to set up directory for our projects. To make it easy, I will create a new folder on my desktop, RenPy, and that's the one I will choose for my projects, desktop RenPy, okay. And then the editor, use Visual Studio Code system. That is the one I have just installed. Okay, it looks okay. Let's run it again. And just for test, in the question, click on script RPI. That opens the sample project. As you can see, we have nice syntax highlighting. The only thing left to do is, as you can see, Visual Studio Code is running in restricted mode. Just click on manage here and trust this project. Okay, great. We have the very basics. In the next video, we will look at the first Hello World project. Thanks for listening.